Americans came to liberate, not to conquer, to restore freedom, and to end tyranny. Hey guys, I'm Marwan, and today we're going to check out a few of DC's monuments. We're going to check out the Washington Monument, World War II Memorial, and the Abraham Lincoln Memorial. So let's go. The first U.S. president, George Washington, whose military and political leadership were indispensable to the founding of the United States. As commander of the Continental Army, he rallied Americans from 13 divergent states and outlasted the brutal British military forces. As the first president, Washington's superb leadership set the standard for each president that has succeeded him. The Washington Monument towers above the city that bears his name at over 555 feet, built in the shape of an Egyptian obelisk evoking the timelessness of ancient civilizations, serving as an awe-inspiring reminder of George Washington's greatness. The monument, like the man, stand in no one's shadow. People come to the National Mall for picnics, a nice day out, or even a prom photo shoot. Now off to the next stop. The World War II Memorial is a memorial of national significance, dedicated to Americans who served in the armed forces and as civilians during World War II, consisting of 56 pillars and a pair of small triumphal arcs surrounding a square and fountain. It sits on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., on the former site of the Rainbow Pool, at the eastern end of the reflecting pool, between the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument. The Freedom Wall is on the west side of the memorial with a view of the reflecting pool and Lincoln Memorial behind it. The wall has 4,048 gold stars, each representing 100 Americans who died in the war. In front of the wall lies the message, Here we mark the price of freedom. Opened on April 29, 2004, it was dedicated by President George W. Bush on May 29, 2004. Now we move to the Lincoln Memorial, dedicated to the 16th U.S. President, Abraham Lincoln, whose accomplishments helped shape the America we know today, from signing the first of the Homestead Acts, allowing poor people to obtain land, leading the Union to victory in the American Civil War, to issuing the Emancipation Proclamation, which led to the abolishment of slavery in the United States. The memorial is in the form of a Greek Doric temple, and contains a large seated sculpture of Abraham Lincoln and inscriptions of two well-known speeches by Lincoln, the Gettysburg Address and his second inaugural address. The memorial has been a site for many famous speeches, including Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech delivered on August 28, 1963 during the rally at the end of the March on Washington for jobs and freedom. Because I have a dream. But my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Thanks for watching.